Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rin and this is the video where I travel on an overnight train from Osaka to Tokyo. So we're going to spend the next 7 hours together um, on this train while I sleep, while I eat, while I work, while I get freaked out because this place is making me feel really claustrophobic. Um, yeah, enjoy the video! Okay, good morning guys. We are going downstairs now for our very last free breakfast! This is Takumi's plate. Yay! We're in a relaxed room right now. Resting up for our overnight train. We're not taking the train until midnight, so it's about 4.30 right now. We're going to be here for the next couple of hours. Uh, the cool thing about this place is you can leave and come back whenever you want and you just get charged for how long you use the place. We did a lot of walking around and shopping on our trip already so we just wanted a day to kind of rest and since we've already checked out of our accommodation this is a very 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 good option for us. It's free Wi-Fi, um, you can shower here, you can do your laundry. Um, so I'm just watching videos and Takumi is reading manga. <laughs> It's 11.53 and our train is arriving in half an hour or so. Got my ticket here. So you need two of them. When we board the train, we'll be on our way from Osaka to Tokyo. So the idea is that it's our accommodation. You sleep and then you wake up and you're in Tokyo. Takumi is really excited about it. It's the one thing he kept talking to other people about when they asked him what he's looking forward to in Japan, so we're finally doing it. That's what we're doing. Is it? Oh, I see. So it's not here for much longer, this experience. Guys, look how excited he is. It's light. This train will be stopping at Shizuoka, Fuji, Numazu, Akami, and Yokohama before arriving at Tokyo Terminal. chilling in Takumi's room and he's going to reveal to me what he bought at Family Mart for our snacks for midnight. Can you turn the light on? It's kind of dark. There you go. You can see him now. Kombi. I've got water. I've got the egg sandwich. And for you, I've got the strawberry. Oh, not strawberry. Strawberry apple. with apple? Apple juice. Oji cha warabe mochi. Yeah. And also I brought you Jagariko. Yes. I also got Jagariko myself. Yes. I got this Italian Mont Blanc cream thing. Italian Mont Blanc cream. Yeah. It's like sponge cake and some mousse. Something like that. Yeah, that's my hope. Yay! Mm -hmm. This is my feed. Takumi's feed. Wait, I didn't get a sandwich. Have this. Thank you. Takumi gave me. Actually, I won't have it all. I'll have like a half of this half. Takumi gave me his sandwich. I'm gonna take all this stuff to my room. Um, yeah, thank you. Thanks for joining this experience. Enjoy your train ride. Yeah, it's once in a lifetime experience. Yeah. 
Okay, so you guys might be wondering why are we taking an overnight train when we could just take the normal uh, bullet train? Because the Shinkansen, I believe, from Osaka to Tokyo takes about three hours or so, um, and this overnight train takes seven hours. And Takumi really wanted to try out this experience because he follows this like, traveling YouTuber uh, who goes around Japan and he takes like you know different kinds of trains and buses and just shows you and documents the whole experience. Um, and this was one of the things that he did. Although I was a little bit reluctant at first. Personally, I'm a little bit claustrophobic and like this is kind of is, is like a, a a capsule hotel and the fact that we're in separate rooms like he's just literally just across the hall. But I feel kind of like creeped out. So I am gonna go to his room later to hang out for a bit because I don't think I can stay here by myself the whole time. The hallway kind of is like very narrow and it reminds me of like when you're on a boat and like the cabin and stuff because I have been on a boat before and that made me feel kind of scared so I'm getting a little bit of like PTSD. If you're wondering, um, for this particular experience we had to buy two things so I'll just put on the screen here. Um, there is the actual train ticket and there's also the boarding pass. So the reason why there's two, it was like we needed a, a train ticket for the actual ride and then another ticket for like boarding pass which is like the room something like that but basically it came out to like 18,000 yen ish yeah about 18,000 yen the totals here um i guess we'll just look around the room a little bit um i've got a mirror over here there's my light i have a little side thingy here where i've got my snacks my suitcase fits right over here i'm sitting on my bed i have a pillow and a blanket in front of me um, and also I'm wearing the provided pajamas that they have and yeah, there's a little area here I've got a coat hanger What else? Oh, there's a little ooh, There's a little board over here. Let's take a look <sighs> Okay, so over here I've got the time over here. It says 1 40 a.m. This says night I don't know what this does. Oh, okay. It gives me different mood lighting fuck that's scary i am not doing that again you can turn on the light turn off the light that turns off the light i'm keeping the light on fuck that was so scary um this is the heater so oh, okay cool i can turn it up if i want to if it's cold but i'm not feeling too much um and then you can put your headphones i guess there's a radio here all about the train so it just tells me the number of cars where the bathroom is where a train attendant is I think this is where um, the cooler slash the heater comes through my view while I'm taking the train we're not gonna be able to see anything until like the a.m. so it's all dark for now and fuck oh, okay, it's scary in here guys it's fucking scary but we're, we're doing this for my boyfriend okay we're doing this I'm just I'm just a pussy, so um, yeah, I basically wanted to vlog my experience here because I need to talk to get my fear out. So you guys are just gonna be like seeing like if I go crazy or not in here, but at least I won't be staying in PR by myself the whole time. I'm gonna go to my boyfriend's room and just like disturb him, but he told me to leave him alone for like at least four hours while he gets some sleep, so I personally am going to stay up because I am too scared to sleep right now. I guess that's pretty much it. Literally, this is the leg room you have. Like, it's just where your shoes are. My suitcase is sitting here, right? Um, before, I had to get something out of here, so it was a big struggle. I had to put this on my bed and open it up. And it's quite spacious, actually. And so, the night begins. It's been one hour already. Thank God. Six hours to go. Alright, I'm just going to... second that I tried to lie down I felt really sleepy so I'm gonna like watch a movie and then probably try to nap for at least an hour or two we'll eat some snacks when I wake up okay bye bye
morning. Well, <laughs> it's been five hours. Uh, guys, I missed the fucking sunrise. I'm so sad. <laughs> it's already like 6.20. Oh, wait, fuck, 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 fuck. I want to show you guys the scenery. It says that we're supposed to arrive at, um, at Tokyo in about 40 minutes. But let me stop. For the sake of this video, I slept with my makeup on. I feel just disgusting. But I am hungry, so I'm going to eat something. <sighs> you want to see something a bit more normal? The other stuff I've done in Japan so far is pretty normal. We're gonna eat this warabi mochi. What's the purpose of this video? I don't think there is one. I slept well. Okay. Mm. Wait, this is so good. <coughs> mm. Okay, the scenery is not that nice. There's like a many abandoned spots. While I was sleeping, I had a dream that, um, like this is happening so I dreamt about literally sleeping in here but in that dream all of my stuff was like out like I had a lot more of my things out uh, and when I woke up in the dream we already arrived to Tokyo and they were about to get ready to go back the other way back the way we came and I wasn't ready and they didn't realize that not all the passengers had gotten off the train yet so yeah I think that's what woke me up just now I don't want to look anymore. Okay. Let's venture outside. Wake. Number 22. Morning! Oh my god, you get the nice view. What the heck? Do you know what I have on my oh, side? Shit's both. Shit's both. There's so many. Mean? Like, the view of the hill is just, I was like, oh, you can see everything. And then I looked a bit closer and it's like, oh, vines on every single building. <laughs> abandoned. Yeah, abandoned. I was like, fuck, this is the wrong side. I caught the sunrise. Yeah, oh, you did? Okay, yeah. I, I have completely slept through it. I woke up like 20 minutes ago. I'm sad. Did you get a video? Yes. Okay, here's a Takumi's video of the sunrise on the screen. Did you enjoy your train ride? Yes. I was planning to stay up all night. Yeah. But I was so exhausted that I just slept. I slept really well actually. I can't move anywhere else unless I sit on his lap. Oh god. Guys, gotta be careful. I keep hitting my head on this thing. Ouch, 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 ouch. Uh, no, no, you can't. Now that we're at the halfway mark, I feel like things are going to start feeling like we're, you know, so close to going home. But I don't really want it to end. I don't really feel homesick, but I really miss my family. Yo, my backyard, guys. In real time, when you guys are watching this right now, it will have been quite a while since I've already returned, actually, because I take forever to edit things, but... I hope you guys enjoyed my video so far and there's still a couple more from this trip coming up and hope you hope you look forward to those and enjoy watching. I also by the way am going to Korea because I'm going for not just the holiday but I'm doing a training program for 10 days. Alright we're about to arrive so I'm going to end the video here but thanks for watching this scuffed Strange video. Shut up. Um, sorry. Okay. Uh, please subscribe and keep watching my stuff, okay?
Bye. See you.